Okay, so let's um, try doing a, a determinant with this matrix. Um, and I, like I said, uh, I'll try to do it two different ways. It's your book has two different ways, um, and basically they're both really, really quick, right? Um, so we, you know, start with some matrix A, right, and that's equal to. Um, you know, nine numbers, minus two, two, minus six, five, zero, one, one, minus two, two. Okay, it's a matrix, so either we give it the double arrow or no arrow at all. Okay, so I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, fine. Okay, it's determined. Okay, and method one, um, the you know the way you're normally show, shown that what the determinant means is uh, using this cofactor expansion, right? So let's just do the cofactor expansion. All right. Um, in that case, what we do is we take the matrix um, minus two, two. Minus six, five, zero, one, one, minus two, two. And then we choose one row and we go down that row, or maybe the column. We can choose a row, we can choose a column. We're perfectly free to do either. Um, so we choose a row or we choose a column and we just go through and we multiply um, one of you know, say uh, each one of these numbers by its cofactor matrix, right? Which I just did in the previous video for this guy here. Um, and if you use those, uh, you, sh you should um, you go through, multiply this, multiply it by the cofactor matrix, add up each one of those um, things from that column, you get the determinant, which is sort of a measure of um, a measure of this uh, thing. Uh, the other measure would. Um, the other measure that you care about is this trace, right? The sum of the um, the sum of the uh, diagonal elements. Um, so, I mean, in order to do that, we just need to choose one of these um, rows. Um, probably, we'd want to use either this one or this one. And the reason why we'd want to choose either one of those is basically because it's. Um, is basically because uh, these guys are um, how, how should I say that? Is because these guys are blah. Okay, I'm my brain's not doing it. Is because we've got this zero here, so we've got a zero times some cofactor. So we don't even have to worry about that. We only have two cofactors uh, we have to care about um, to do this, right? Um, so, I mean, in that case, like I just said, we just have to worry about choosing one or the other and, um, you know, going through with it, right? So, uh, I mean, we pick one and, and have some fun. Um, because I'm contrarian and in my notes I went the other way, I will choose this row here. Um, to find the determinant, okay? So I'll find the determinant. Guess they use that symbol or the DET symbol. Ah, it doesn't really matter. So what we need to do is we have to find the cofactors of um, C, C, uh, C12 and C32. So, so like I said, we take this and we multiply it by the cofactor of, uh, by its cofactor C12 plus minus two times cofactor of C32. Okay, and so we have to work out those cofactors and I think I'll do them separately. Um, it's perfectly reasonable to do things separately. You don't have to do everything in one line. I know a lot of students really like to try to do everything in one line and, um, and not have to, uh, and not think about, you know, the different parts of the procedure. Uh, it's probably better to separate parts of a procedure.
also makes it easier to correct your errors if you have a problem. Um, remember that correcting an error is is actually what separates a um, being able to correct errors is what separates an expert from a novice. Not being able to do everything right the first time. Um, so the only things that you have to get right the first time are the things that you'll never um, get a chance to correct. All right, so we have C12. So 1 plus 2 is 3. That means we have this minus 1. And then we need the um, cofactor matrix for this, which is everything that's not in this row or this column, which is 5, 1, 1, 2. 5, 1, 1, 2. You may remember this if you watched the previous video. Then we take minus 1 and we sub take this times this minus that times that, so that's 10 minus 1, so that's 9 times minus 1 is minus 9, right? And then our C32, again, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's minus 1. And then we do this other one, minus 2, minus 6, 5, 1, minus 2, minus 6, 5, 1, okay, so that's minus 1 times, um, minus 2 times 1, which is uh, minus 2, minus um, minus 6 times 5, right, which is um, okay, minus 6 times 5 is 30. So that means we have 30 minus 2, which is 28, times minus 1, which is minus 28. Okay. And now we can use these in here. All right. So then we have 2 times um, minus 9, minus 2 times um, 28. Right. Is, is that correct? Oh, minus 2 times minus 28. Okay, good. So 2 times minus 9 is minus 18. Um, plus 2 times 28, which is 56. Um, which means we subtract um, 18 from 56, which gives us 38, right? So according to this procedure, our um, determinant is 38. So taking the determin determinant of something this size, very simple. Um, it's a little annoying when you get to um, get to four, gets really annoying when you get to five, uh, and so forth and so on. Um, so a five by five matrix has a very annoying um, determinant. So just don't, don't worry about it. Um, You'll probably have to figure out how to do those later on, but um, I'm not going to give you any 5x5s, five five unless I do. All right, so um, now we've got it that way. Um, there was another way your book uses, and that's getting the whole thing in triangular form. And there's a reason for that, right? I mean, if you get this matrix into triangular form, then basically you're just going to be able to multiply um, the diagonal. Okay, and you'll be able to multiply the diagonal and get the same number. 2 minus 6, 5, 1, 1 minus 2, 2. Right? So, um, when, yeah, so we'll just uh, go through and say, okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to um, try to move these things around and try to get... Uh, Get everything okay. So if we take our determinant like this and we switch two rows, uh, we get a minus sign, right? So I'm going to switch this row and this row um, because I want I want a I want a triangular form. I don't want that zero in the diagonal. Um, so minus two, two minus six, one minus two, two, five o oh, one. Okay, so. Nothing major there. Um, then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll work on getting the triangular form by getting rid of um, this 
number here. So we'll just add this and this, right? So if I add two rows and, re and replace one of them, then there's actually nothing that happens to the determinant. That's one of your rules from your book. So add these up, you get minus one, zero, minus four, and now we still have one minus two, two, and we didn't do anything down here at 501. Okay, so all we need to do now is um, go through and get rid of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that seems completely reasonable to me. Um, let's see, so what we want to do is uh, take, take this um, 501, multiply it by 4, right? Uh, so we have 20 and 4, right? And then add them up here. Um, and then we have 20 minus 1 is 19, right? 0 plus 0, we're sitting at 0, we're happy with that. 4 plus 4 is 0. So that's, that's okay, that's where we want to go, right? Uh, we want all these three to be zeros in a nice triangular form. Um, and now we can multiply this by, we can multiply this one here by minus 5 and add this guy. So that's minus 5 minus um, 10 and, um, no, I don't want 5, I want 2. Doi. Sorry, excuse me. I want 2, so we have, um, Uh, 2 minus 4, 4, right? And I add these guys together. And, yeah. Oh. I want 2 times this one, minus 2 times this one, so minus 10, 0, minus 2. Ugh. Okay, excuse me. Um, okay, so here we go. Minus 2 plus 2, 0. 0 plus minus 2, minus 2. Minus 10 plus 1, minus 9. And then we have 501. And now if we take that determinant, it's just this times this cofactor matrix, right? Because we can go down this line, right? 0, 0, 1. We only have to worry about this cofactor matrix. So we have 1 times... Um, 19 times minus 2 plus 0, so we have 1 times minus 2 times um, 19, and we also have this minus sign up here, right? And that's 38. Bang! We're done. Both give you the same answer, which is um, what we wanted, alright? So two methods, same answer, and like I said, um, what separates the expert from the um, from the novice is not is not that they do everything right the first time it's that when they're screwing up they notice all right so I will um, I will see you in a couple minutes I hope I hope for some more fun with determinants